All right, y'all, I'm back with another one. Benny Johnson, boom, Trump bans Nikki Haley and Mike Pompeo from White House and humiliating. Yeah, I did see a post saying thank y'all for y'all service, but you know, y'all will not be coming into the White House with me, okay? Trump is like, no new friend, no new friend, okay? But I mean, hey, he said it really nicely. You know, y'all just won't be joining us. It is what it is, you know? Hey, he has the right to do that. He's the president of the United States. Don't they feel good? Don't it feel good to know that we were the one to get them there? Yeah, they do. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Let's see. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. Donald Trump didn't just win the election on Tuesday. He reset the political map in America forever. He destroyed dynasties. President Trump in his short political career has destroyed the Bush family dynasty, the Cheney dynasty, the McCain, McConnell, and McCarthy dynasties, along with Paul Ryan's entire political career. Mm. Then he went to work on the Democrats, of course, ending the Clinton dynasty, raising to the ground the Biden crime family. And now whatever Kamala Harris had going for her is over. Kamala okay. Harris was simply a cutout Muppet for the true power inside the Democrat Party, which is the Obama dynasty. Hmm. House Obama raised to the ground here with this destructive election victory for President Trump. I mean, absolute landslide, winning all seven swing states, <laughs> going, winning baby. the popular Don't vote by five million. And, of course, Donald Trump, 312 in the Electoral College. Ooh, look this at is that. a defeat that won't long be forgotten. He went and, over ladies and gentlemen, uh, the people who helped us get here are obviously singing from the rafters and are enjoying a well-deserved victory romp yours truly included but the people who tried to destroy president trump on the way up well they're getting their comeuppance as well ladies and gentlemen neoconism is over the neocons, represented, of course, by the Cheneys, the Bushes, mm. also the Clintons and Obama. Remember, Barack Obama drone struck American teenagers without trial and murdered them. Barack Obama, very much a neocon. Joe Biden started multiple wars. He loved war. The Biden regime was the regime of forever war, a continuation of the policies of the neocons. Liz Cheney, of course, was going to be secretary of state or uh, in charge of the Pentagon. So that was wow. going to be a tough sell in Michigan with the Arab communities. Hey, vote for me. Put a Cheney back in charge of our military. Yeah, smart move, Democrats. Anyway, that was destroyed. And the ideology of neoconservatism is completely and totally dead on arrival with President Trump's new administration in this wonderful announcement Drum just roll. a few hours ago. This is the single greatest action of the Trump presidency yet. A very, very good sign. What happened? Two neocons totally and completely purchased by the forever war industry, Nikki Haley and Mike Pompeo, are out of the newly formed Trump administration that is being put together right now. President Trump saying, I will not be inviting former Ambassador Nikki Haley or former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to join the Trump administration, which is currently in formation. I very much enjoyed and appreciated working with them. <laughs> yeah, salty. And I would like to thank them for their service to the country, make America great again. Wow. Yeah. Just the best move yet Man. by the Trump administration. The best move yet. These two are despicable, by the way. Both of these individuals are scum. They both attacked Donald Trump mercilessly and endlessly from the from the Republican side mm. while he was running for president, including, but not limited to, in his last week of the campaign. Nikki Haley should never be forgotten for doing that. Nikki Haley was so media hungry, she went on Fox News to dunk on President Trump wow. and insult him and try and ply away voters from voting for him in an insane move um, in the last weeks of the campaign. Well, what disloyal scum Trump revealed two former MAGA superstars will not join his next administration. That is a, the dumbest headline 
ever. They are not MAGA superstars. They are neocons. They are indistinguishable from Liz Cheney. Dang. Okay, these two. Uh, Donald Trump said Nikki Haley and Mike Pompeo will not be in his second administration. Uh, Haley, who received more Republican primary votes than anyone who challenged Trump, did not appear on the campaign trail for him, despite repeatedly claiming that she was on standby. Mm. <laughs> Genius. Uh, Mike Pompeo, who is a, uh, I guess, going to go be the face of Ozempic now. <laughs> the hell is this? What's going on? Spoke at a recent Trump rally. Got booed, by the way. Dang. Ozempic spokesperson uh, Mike Pompeo, soon to be. Good job. Um. In veteran strategist Roger Stone singled out Nikki Haley in a blog post and claiming that they could not be trusted. Very smart and very, very wise. Crazy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a massive, massive victory on our hands, and we cannot have backstabbers in right. the administration. The entire – See, and why I think y'all can get away with that, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Like, he's been – Stabbed in back so many times by people. That's exactly what they get. Did they really think they were just going to tag along? Was they thinking this? Why did Trump say that? They think they were just gonna, you know, run behind him in the in the White House after all the backstabbing that they did. Like he gonna be turning people down left to right. But again, this man is used to being stabbed in the back. You know what I'm saying? So why not have the right team with me when we walk when we walk through uh, when we walk through <laughs> when we walk through in January when they walk through? I'm gonna have the right type of team with me, baby. That's why I'm talking about Trump 2024. He ain't playing, and he did it with kindness. So he let them down with kindness. That that was sweet on his end. Let's get it. The universe is celebrating this, uh, and Donald Trump, of course, posting this last night. Nikki Haley. Uh, <laughs> posting through the salty hmm. tears. I was proud to work with President Trump defending America and the United Nations. I wish him and those who serve with him success in moving uh, America to a stronger place in the next four years. Congratulations to Donald Trump on the sweeping victories as Mike Pompeo, absolute scumbag and backstabber and somebody who kept us <laughs> from seeing the oh my JFK God. files. Right? Like, this is wild. You know, RFK Jr. saying this about Mike Pompeo. Astonished that Trump uh, didn't declassify him because he promised to during the campaign. That yeah, was Mike Pompeo who did that. Yeah, and that and that I talked to President Trump for the first time about that this week. And what did he, he say? Said, he said that um, he said that Mike Pompeo begged him to, uh, and I don't think I'm telling tales out of school here. No, I, I think he told the same thing to you. That's right? true. Um, but he said Mike Pompeo called him and said this would be a catastrophe to release these. You need to not do it. You know, it's an actual catastrophe. The way that Mike Pompeo talked about his former boss and the new Republican president elect. I was talking about the time to elect serious leaders who are thoughtful, who speak about America as the most exceptional nation in the history of civilization. They're not denigrating it. They're not they're not throwing out whoppers. They're not spending all the time thinking about Twitter. That's what I was speaking to. It's the moment for celebrity. The moment for stars is not with us. It's the moment for America to go back to its conservative founding, its conservative ideas. And I am very confident that room, that room cheered that idea. And I'm very confident that we're heading back that direction. Okay. So mm. Donald, so he, he's, he's straight up dissing President Trump. You wonder why these people, you wonder why these people backstabbed and leaked to the press every single second that they were in the administration. They cannot be trusted. I'm so bloody thankful they look that these scum <laughs> are, will no longer be in the administration and we can, do, bye we bye. can send them on their way because now you have no future bye right bye. you have zero you're 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 only the only rule for being hired in the trump administration should be this show us where you publicly defended president trump over the last four years publicly hmm. where you had his back in the most vicious and toxic torture chamber that the corporate left and the institutional judicial left put him through and did you defend him I mean, our voices cracked on this channel defending president trump we did we, we did everything we possibly could uh -huh, I uh, did. to bring this information and these horrors to the american people <laughs> and um mike pompeo and nikki haley did nothing and so they undermined president trump uh tucker carlson taking Pompeo to woodshed. He hates Pompeo. I mean, if there's so if, the, if the, Tucker Carlson views Mike Pompeo as the number one worst hire in the first Trump administration, he explains it. And hoping to unlock the mysteries of late empire Washington, 
study that clip because it will reveal everything. That very same Mike Pompeo, the one who's sneering at Donald Trump on TV this morning, that guy served Donald Trump as both CIA director and as secretary mm, mm, of state. Mm. It was the two most powerful jobs in the federal government. Dang. And as he worked up. in those jobs, Pompeo promised, in fact, he swore to support the president's agenda. Why? Because that's the way a democracy works. You vote for a candidate in the belief that his appointees will carry out the policies that you voted for. It's not about the president. It's about you, the voter. But Pompeo didn't do that. He didn't even try to do that. In fact, he undermined Trump's often stated commitment to peace and non-intervention abroad at every turn. His every waking hour mm. was devoted to fomenting war in some faraway foreign country or other. Iran, Syria, Russia, North Korea, the list goes on. Tested Donald Trump this afternoon. They had him arraigned and fingerprinted in a Miami courthouse. Uh, none of these people defended President Trump. Dang. None of them. Nikki Haley didn't. I mean, in fact, the only person that I saw out defending President Trump was Vivek Ranswamy. During all of the arrests, all the arraignments, all the mugshotting, all of the felony Crazy. counts, there was only one Republican that actually defended, that ran for president, that actually defended Trump. Nikki Haley sure, sure as hell did. Nikki Haley loved, loved the fact that Donald Trump was getting arrested and should never be ever forgotten that the week before the election, in this election, when Donald Trump was about to win a, a landslide, Nikki Haley went on Fox News to attack President Trump. It's crazy work. She said Trump needed to stop this bromance masculinity stuff, the stuff that won him the election. Yeah. In case you're wondering who's an asset, who's an op, Nikki Haley is an op. Uh, yeah, Nikki we Haley know what it is real. about. Benny, what you know Nikki about Haley that word? Nikki Democrat uh. plant. Nikki Haley is a sleeper cell. <laughs> she's, liter she's literally out. She was literally out on Fox News saying that Donald Trump needs to stop the thing that's about to win him the election. No Mike Pence, no Nikki Haley, no Mike Pompeo. Maybe losing 2020 was the best case scenario. We are ridding the GOP of corrupt rhino class. Nikki Haley was so media thirsty and stupid that she bashed Trump the week before the election. Yeah, I think Nikki Haley might have a Crazy. position in the Trump administration uh, had she not done that. Maybe. I wouldn't like it. Uh, we're the number one. We're the number one. one of the, we're probably the number one channel that went hard against Nikki Haley. We went to Nikki Haley's hometown and asked people what they think of her. <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was a banger. Trump shared that one, actually. Yeah. If Trump had been allowed to retain the White House after the victory, Pompeo and Haley types would be everywhere uh, in 2020. If Trump had won in 2020, it, hap it happened how it happened. We, uh, we've we suffered like hell, but it's all going to be worth it. No pain, no gain. Everyone's saying this is amazing. Uh, Dave Smith, mm. big time libertarian, saying this is amazing. This is a fantastic signal. Mike Pompeo and Nikki Haley are out. Here's the thing. It's not good enough. We don't want Haley or Pompeo. We don't want them for reasons because they're insane war hawks. No insane war hawks. That should be the bar. Don Jr. quoting that last tweet saying, yep, that's the bar. We're not going to let insane war hawks in the administration. Fantastic news. Pompeo and Haley are unrepentant neocons. Pompeo was up to all kinds of nonsense to thwart Russiagate collusion investigations during the first Trump term. Mike Pompeo and Nikki Haley are gone. No neocons. Huge W. Trump isn't allowing Nikki Haley or Mike Pompeo anywhere near the White House. Good. Haley sealed her fate when she went on Fox News right before the election and suggested Trump couldn't get women to vote for him unless she campaigned with him. Hmm. Yeah. Isn't that amazing how that always works? They didn't need the neocons at all. They didn't need any of the Republican establishment at all to achieve this result. At all. Donald Trump winning uh, in massive margins. And swinging blue states way red. Uh, President Trump drove major shifts in blue states, New York, California, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Maryland, and Illinois. New Jersey now effectively a swing state. Just remember the people who always told you the truth. Nikki Haley equals corrupt. The hmm. big Ram Swamy. <laughs> At the first debate, she said that only a woman can get this job done. That's what she said. After the third debate, when I criticized Ronna McDaniel after five failed years of leadership of this party and criticized Nikki for her corrupt foreign dealings as a military contractor, she said that I have a woman problem. Hmm. Nikki, I don't have a woman problem. You have a corruption problem. And I think that that's what people need to know. Nikki is corrupt. <laughs> this is a woman who will send your kids to die ah. so she can buy a bigger house. 
This is the problem. Using identity politics more effectively than Kamala Harris is a form of intellectual fraud. And it actually needs to end. There's our donor puppet yeah. masters. We are yeah, trying puppet to cut them right off. Don't cut them off. This is Get how it. this game is played. The puppet masters put up their puppet, and I reject the use of identity politics in this party. It has been a cancer coming from the left, and I'm sick and tired of the double standards the people of this country are too. Having two X chromosomes and does we not immunize okay, you from thank criticism. You. Thank you, sir. Thank nice. you, Governor Hayes. <laughs> Ever. This is gonna be Boy, exciting. That Ride. Was drop my win. They drop my words. No more neocons. Let's freaking go. Let's go. It's more Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya. Like, subscribe, Benny. This is why I fool with Benny. And this is why I fool with Benny. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 y'all. Now, I like that drop mic. He did his thing, y'all. Told her like it was. But you know what? He didn't have a lot of people turn on him. So I don't blame Trump at all for not, you know, we ain't finna have no fake people coming up there reporting back. You know what I'm saying? Just all this mess. That's right, Trump. Clean house. Clean house. Like everybody else right now is cleaning house. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I ain't finna hold y'all too long. If you're getting ready to go to bed, thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful, peaceful sleep. If you're getting ready to go to work, have a great day. If you're not working, still have a beautiful day, y'all. We did it. That's how I'm finna end it. We did it. We got the right man in that house. Okay? That's it. That's all.